I'm Jim. I'm McKenna. I'm Nathan. And this is Monday, Monday Madness. Madness. The Madness is back, everybody. This is really an exciting time of year. March Madness, of course. And it's not just March anymore. March Madness is it's April, too, right? So the tournaments have bled into April. Super exciting. The girls' tournament, my gosh, that was that was something. Huh? Caden really? Clark. Oh. She's really talking cool. about her, Juju Watson. Yep. Paige Beckers. Oh, we got a lot of talent out there in the women's and Reese. All of them. Yep. Uh, and the men, too. <laughs> Women, men. They're both good. But hey, you know what? That's all over. And now we're here to celebrate that time in basketball when the game slows down, mm -hmm. takes a breather, they line up, and you're at the free throw uh, line. It's all about you, the net, the ball, and the silence. Right? It's the best time. It's hoop shoot time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got our 72 national finalists. Uh, some of them went through preliminary contests. All of them survived the crucibles of uh, lodge, district, state, and regional competition. They've emerged honed, hard hardened, and unblemished. And they're going to take their perfect records into Wintrust Arena on Saturday for one final showdown where we will crown six national champions the indeed indeed we got a lot of talent out there this year we do and nathan you were out you were actually out in the field at a couple of the competitions yeah, on the i was i was i got to uh, experience the uh, florida state contest and i also got to go to the region 10 contest um and uh, let me tell you there, there's some good there's some good shooters from region 10, there so. always are it's always exciting yeah so uh six six contests to settle on saturday we have championships in uh boys and girls divisions in each of three age groups eight to nine 10 to 11 and 12 to 13. And of course, before we can settle uh, those tournaments, the kids have to know what order they're gonna shoot in, right? Yep. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna announce the shooting order for each of these six divisions. Um, should we get into it? Let's get started. Let's go. Boys eight, nine first. I'm yeah. ready. Absolutely. All right, I'd like to uh, just talk a little bit. I'm gonna set up each of these divisions for you, kind of build the drama and in the Chicago area, Chicago area goes back to 2016. That's when the tournament came here from Springfield, Massachusetts. We've had seven contests here. Uh, it's taken a 24 or better to win this division. You miss two shots, you're out. Sorry. Now we've had, I say 24 or better, but five perfect scores in those seven contests. Three times the perfect score uh, hasn't even been good enough to win. They needed extra shots to resolve. Uh, the average final score in the Chicago era has been 21.3. Let's talk a little about hoop shoot history. You have to go back 10 years, 10 years to find a champion with a 23. And 22, missed three shots. 40 years since that's been good enough uh, to win this, this, this contest. Now the field, five of these kids have shot 90% or better in the tournament so far. That's nearly half the field. We had a perfect score at regionals. We had a perfect score at uh, state. And we had two 24s at regional as well. Also, and this is something I'm going to point out today, we have three next-gen hoop shooters. Right? Three kids who, whose dads and, and an uncle participated uh, in the contest when they were kids. Also, I want to call attention to some of the cool nicknames. And in this division here, uh, the coolest nickname is Wheels. <laughs> and the runner-up is Pickles. Yeah. That's the eight, nine That's a pretty good boys. Yeah, sure is. So how are they going to shoot? Are you ready? We're ready. All Let's right. go. Let's go. In the first position um, from Northwest Central Region number two is Jackson Newcomer, somewhat sponsored by Great Falls, Montana, Lodge number 214. Now, what a difference a year makes. Uh, last year, he didn't even get out of his gym class. Uh, this year, he is 24 at Lodge, 24 at State, 24 at Regional, in the district, only a 22. He's shooting 94% in the tournament. That's incredible. And how can we miss the unique talent he has? And that is, he can raise his eyebrows like the rock. Nathan, can you do it? <laughs> I'll try, but I, it wasn't the best, but I tried. Um, yeah, that's a crazy talent, Jackson. Congratulations on that. Awesome. All right, next up in second position, we have Case Rippey from Central Region Number 9, sponsored by Frankfurt, Kentucky, 
Lodge number 530. Now, I mentioned we had a perfect score. Our regionals case is the owner of that perfect score. He also had shot 24 at state. He shoot 91% in the tournament. That's incredible. Back to back 90 percenters to start off. That's pretty impressive. But what about his evening talent as well? Uh, math, Jim, I think he's coming for that title from you. Well, we know the math on this one, right? <laughs> and he uh, looks like he's going to be in the running. Awesome. In third position, we have Hendrick Slay from West Region number seven, sponsored by St. George Dixie, Utah, Lodge number 1743. Hendricks is one of our next gen hoop shooters. His dad mm -hmm. participated as a kid. I love yeah. to hear those like hoop shoot legacy stories. Yeah, it means so much that uh, the, the parents remember the experience that they had in this program and they want to share that with their kids. Yeah. Yeah. And we're shout seeing out. more as the program ages and matures, we're seeing more and more of that. Which is really cool. Yeah. And, and shout out to JC Lay on that. That's JC Lay, <laughs> the, the father. Um, but yeah, again, these unique talents are incredible that we are receiving. I can roll my belly and name the United States presidents. <laughs> and it's it. just, what was unclear to me, and I hope for the opportunity to ask him, is that at the same time? Yeah. Oh yeah, Ooh, that, yeah that's okay. clear to me. I think it's at the same time. <laughs> same time. I yeah. can't wait to see that right. live in person. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in fourth position, we have Edward Wilbanks from Southeast region number 12, sponsored by Dalton, Georgia, Lodge number 1267. Another one of our next gen hoop shooters, his dad, Brent, participated in 1986 and 1987. Pretty cool. And he, he uh, brings in the favorite team, uh, starting with the Golden State Warriors. So uh, that's a common one in, mm -hmm. in today's hoop shooters. Yeah. The Golden State Warriors, Steph Curry, obviously a big deal. Yeah. Now absolutely. our next shooter is a pretty big deal. <laughs> the next shooter is a big deal. In fifth position, we have Dylan Bogdansky, otherwise known AKA Pickles from Northeast Central Region number five, sponsored by Cedar Grove, New Jersey, Lodge number 2237. Pickles was perfect at state. Uh, and the regionals shot 23 and then needed four shoot off, 19 of 20 to advance to get to Chicago. He shoot 94.7% in the tournament thus far. Yep, and his favorite part is going to the national championship, which he will indeed be doing uh, this week. I also want to point out that his favorite team is the 2000 Los Angeles Lakers. Very specific. Very specific. 2001, those guys, terrible. <laughs> terrible. But 2000? Yeah. Fantastic. All right, next up from, in the sixth position, from Southwest Region number 11 is Marcus Johnson Jr., sponsored by Shreveport, Louisiana, Lodge number 122. He's really appreciated the time he's been able to spend in the gym with his father shooting free throws. He's been shooting uh, 200 free throws a day in preparation for these. Yeah, that's really impressive. And he's going to be the second uh, star basketball player in Chicago nicknamed uh, MJ. So well, that's I'm MJ. big shoes to fill. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> in seventh position, we have Jacob Williams from North Central Region number three. Sponsored by Jacksonville, Illinois, Lodge number 682. Uh, Jacob at the uh, local level had to beat some of his friends in yes. the tournament, which, was, <laughs> which is hard on him. Uh, he's shooting 91%. He was uh, 24 at regionals and uh, survived a shoot off at five out of five to advance. And Jacob wants to visit Hawaii at some point, so Ooh. hopefully that can happen. I hope that his favorite book, I Survived the Shark Attacks, has prepared <laughs> him for that trip. In eighth position, we have Parker Moeller from Great Lakes Region Number Four, sponsored by Mercer County, Ohio, Lodge Number Twenty One Seventy. And uh, Wheels almost uh, almost didn't make it here on, on route to the state uh, finals in Ohio. There was a snowstorm; it took him hours to get there, uh, but he made it there. He shot twenty two, which is good enough to advance twenty two at regionals. Again, he shoot ninety percent for the tournament. Yep, and Wheels adds to the 90 percenters in this group. It, yeah. it is going to be a tough division. Yep, eight to nine boys. Yep. Yeah. And he loves the NBA. Big Memphis Grizzlies fan. Awesome. All right, in ninth position, we have Walker Schaefer from West Central Region number eight, sponsored by Durango, Colorado, Lodge number 507. First ever uh, hoop shoot, he shot eight out of 25, which is good enough uh, to, to win at the Lodge. Yeah. Sometimes showing up is half the battle. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And we can really see his improvement in this year's contest because at the Lodge, he shot 14 mm -hmm. and now is at 22 with coming out of the regional. Right. Yeah. I, I, I noted that down as well. I think he clearly practices and he's clearly improved. So credit to you, young man. Awesome. Yeah. All right. In 10th position, we have Slade Sheldon. Slade is from Northwest Region Number 1, sponsored by Lewiston, Idaho, Lodge Number 896. Another next-gen hoop shooter, his dad and uncle participated when they were younger. 
Not sure if they did as well as Slade, who made it to the Nationals. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been remarkably consistent, 22 out of 25 at three of the four levels of competition, 21 at the other, and survived a shootoff at State, four out of five, to advance. And Slade's lucky charm, his Clarkston basketball jersey. Awesome. I wonder if he'll be sporting that at the finals. I, he leaps up. <laughs> In 11th position, we have Knox Martis. Knox is from Southeast Central Region number 10, and he's sponsored by Calvert, Maryland, Lodge number 2620. Another one that, who really, um, you know, demonstrates how, uh, how practice uh, improves, yeah. their, improves their shot. Uh, first year in the program, didn't really know what he was getting into. Shows up at the Lodge, hits 15 out of 25, ties for first, four out of five in the shoot off. Suddenly he's in this thing, right? So he starts working a little bit harder. 23 out of 25 at regionals to advance. Yeah, and, he, and Knox is good at every sport he plays. So uh, <laughs> you're going to want to avoid Knox if we have a ping pong table or anything like that. Not just good, insanely talented. Insanely talented. Insanely talented. Insanely talented. Yeah, yeah. He tries. yeah. <laughs> watch out for Knox. All right, last but certainly not least, we have in 12th position Lincoln Sykes from New England Region Number 6, sponsored by Newport, Vermont, Lodge Number 2155. And Lincoln's another one who shot 24 out of 25 at Regionals mm -hmm. to advance. Yeah, this, this, this is going to be a tough division. And, uh, and Lincoln likes to uh, fish, I believe, because he wants to go to Alaska and his favorite book's Fishing on Ice. So, Ooh, awesome. There you go. Well, that's it. That is the Those eight, nine boys, league. right? Very exciting. What do you say? We take a short break and come back with the eight, nine girls. All right, let's do it. All right, we are back with the girls' eight, nine division. Now, we talked about Chicago era. Era. We've had a little more margin for error in this division than the boys 8-9, uh, but not much, just a little. They've 22 or better to win in the seven uh, championships in the Chicago era. When I say that, and in the past three, it's taken a 24 or better. Average final score has been 18.6 during the Chicago era. Now, we talk about that 22 that you've needed, and in Chicago, really, it's been... 38 years uh, that it's been taken a 22 or better to win this. Um, that's a long time. Uh, the last time we've had a champ miss four or more was 1985. Wow. I was gonna say. <laughs> our, hottest shooters, our hottest shooters in this division are shooting 92% and 89.3% respectively. We had one perfect score at, sca at mm -hmm. state. Uh, also, and we've been keeping track of, of this, we have five next-gen hoop shooters in this division, and that makes a total of eight so far in the field. Right? That's really cool. Coolest nickname? We got no contest. Evidactyl. <laughs> that, that is you. What about Baby Moda? Baby, all right, Baby there's Moda a contest. Is Baby Moda's pretty good also. <laughs> right, there we go. I'm partial to Evidactyl. Yeah, sounds good. Big fan of dinosaurs. <laughs> She probably is too. Yeah. All right. Are we ready? We're ready. ready All right. Shooting first in the first position, we have Hallie Middleton from Central Region Number Nine, sponsored by Arcadia Valley, Arcadia, Missouri, Lodge Number Twenty Three Thirty. Her dad competed as a kid, so did her mm -hmm. sister, and uh, she lost at districts last year by one. This is her second year, and uh, she was motivated to not lose again, and so far she hasn't. Hallie's also a Chicago Bulls fan, so that'll be fun to visit yeah. Chicago. Yeah. Hometown, Hometown hero, yeah. yeah, that's right. Awesome. In second position, we have Hayden Patterson. Hayden is from New England, region number six, sponsored by Willimantic, Connecticut, lodge number 1311. And yet another one of our next gen hoop shooters, her mom participated when she was Hayden's age. Mm -hmm. um, she lost last year at regionals. Yeah. Really upset. When she got back, she vowed that she would make it to nationals this year. Mm -hmm. And twice a week, mm -hmm. all year long, she got up with her dad at six in the morning to shoot free throws to get better. And it worked, it paid off. She made it to regionals again, and this time she won. Absolutely, that's really impressive. And, and it shows the grit that it takes to get here. Um, and, and Hayden is a Chicago Bears fan. Another one. What does it mean? On? As my nanny would have said, I'm glad someone is. <laughs> <laughs> all right. In third position, we have Ori Komoda. Ori is from Northwest Region Number One and sponsored by Boise, Idaho, Lodge Number Three Ten. 
And this is Baby Moda. This is Baby Moda. This is Baby Moda. I'm very excited about Baby Another Moda. Another one who specifically remarked about one of the hardest things she had to go through on the road to Chicago was the local contest at her school mm -hmm. where she had to dispatch her friends. Yeah, that's got to be really hard mm -hmm. to go through. Yeah, and Baby Moda is uh, very talented at fly fishing. I actually got to experience that uh, this past summer in Utah. So well, yeah. she's hoping that's to catch cool. a national a gold trophy. <laughs> a national, national yeah. title. And DM. Yeah. <laughs> All right. In fourth position, we have Jalen Hines. Jalen is from Northwest Central Region Number Two and sponsored by Bismarck Mandan, North Dakota Lodge Number Eleven Ninety Nine. You know what she thinks the most exciting, uh, the, the most fun thing about the experience for her has been how exciting the contests are. Mm -hmm. She got a taste of that firsthand uh, at the state level. Only shot sixteen, but that was good enough for a tie for first and puts herself into a shoot off. And then she dials it up a notch, five out of five to advance to regionals. Wow. Yep. And Jalen wants to visit Florida or Hawaii. Ooh, so. sometime in the sun. Yeah. All right, in fifth position, we have Jordan Hidalgo. Jordan is from West Region Number 7, sponsored by Clovis, California, Lodge Number 2599. She's an 84% shooter, mm -hmm. uh, 22, 20, 21, and 21 again. Yeah, I, I jotted it down. What a consistent shooter. Yeah. yeah it's 20, I mean, gosh. That's yeah, now really the question cool. is going to be, can she take it up that mm -hmm. extra yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. two or three shots she's going to need to get on the podium? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Exciting we'll see. to see. All right. Halfway through in sixth position, we have Presley Page. Presley is from Southwest Region Number 11, sponsored by Kingfisher, Oklahoma, Lodge Number 2416. Mm -hmm. Another next gen hoop shooter, her yeah. dad, Brady Page, shot for several years, and her uncle, Keaton Page mm -hmm. was a national runner-up in 1999. He shot 23 out of 25 and four out of five at a shoot-off. Close, just so close. Um, and yeah, she's a fan of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Mm -hmm. Local. And she had, um, at the regionals, um, she only hit five out of 10 in the first round. And that yeah. can be devastating, mm -hmm. right, for most people. Well, not for hoop shooters, no. right? They learn to bounce back from adversity. Yeah. And she, uh, recovered to hit 12 out of 15 in the second round to advance. Yeah, just enough. Mm -hmm. All right, in seventh position, we have Nora Fott. Nora's from Northeast Central Region number five, sponsored by Clearfield, Pennsylvania, Lodge number 540. And another one who is a next-gen hoop shooter, yeah. her father uh, competed in 1989 mm -hmm. when he was in fourth grade. Yeah, and I want to just point out that her friend, Raya McCombie, who competed last year, is the reason that she got involved. That's cool. Yep. Really cool. Yeah, Ra yeah. Raya got fifth last year. Um, so that's really cool to see. And, and just 90%. Yeah. Three favorite things about the uh, program for her. You Competing and winning, understandable. Yeah. Breakfast. 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 And the third. And that's, breakfast is a great, that, yeah, I love yeah. that addition. Yeah. That's a good yeah. idea. Right that there. is yeah. a girl after my own heart yeah. right there. <laughs> Next up, in eighth position, we have Allison Rice. Uh, she is from Southeast Region Number 12 and sponsored by Coleman, Alabama, Lodge Number 1609. Toughest round for her was the Lodge, where she mm -hmm. had 16 out of 25, lands in a shoot-off, hits three out of five, and that was good enough at the Lodge level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fun fact about Coleman, Alabama, that's where Channing Tatum's from. Ooh, Throw that, that is there. a fun fact. And I like to hear that Allison wears a special basketball bracelet at every shoot, so maybe that'll bring her luck at the finals. In ninth position, we have Caroline Kuman. Caroline is from West Central Region Number Eight, um, and her sponsor in Lodge is North Glen, Colorado, Lodge Number Twenty Four Thirty Eight. She showed up at her very first hoop shoot competition in January of last year, not really knowing that it was more than a one-day thing. Of course, we say you know okay. it's, it's more than a one-day program, mm -hmm. but a contest for most people who participate is only about that one day because most don't escape the lodge level. But Caroline did this year. And I, and I like Caroline's sense of humor as she goes, but her biggest fan is, how can I pick? I have too many. <laughs> I also think it's incredible that Caroline runs a sports card channel on YouTube called CWK Sports Cards. So check that Shout out. out that. Shout out to that. That's very cool. All right. In 10th position, we have Eva Reed. Eva is from Southeast Central Region number 10 um, and sponsored by Winchester, Virginia, Lodge number 867. She won at the local and division levels last year by a total of four baskets because she was, I believe, unopposed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, showing up, half the battle, <laughs> kept going. Uh, and then uh, this year she won the uh, state championship in a tiebreaker. That's incredible. And, and Eva's favorite book is uh, Ivy and Bean. Mm -hmm. And the motto of that book is, why not? 
Why not go win the national championship? Why awesome. not? Why not? In 11th position, we have Ainsley Weaver. Ainsley is from Great Lakes Region Number 4, sponsored by Chillicothe, Ohio, Lodge Number 52. Great Lakes Region, always formidable in the hoop shoot. Uh, frequently, they've won the uh, Kronk Team Award. Mm -hmm. A number of national champions have come out. This might yeah. be another one. She was perfect at state, yeah. 23 at regional. She's shooting 92% in the tournament. Yeah, those Ohio yeah. kids mm -hmm. have a it's, legacy. It's very impressive. And what makes it more impressive is her journey. Um, last year was her first year, and she didn't know how to shoot a basketball. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, she's in the national champion. Okay. That's, that, really that's impressive. Cool. Yeah. Very cool Thank stuff. You. All right, last but not least, in 12th position, we have Darcy Martini. Darcy is from North Central Region Number 3, sponsored by Brainerd, Minnesota, Lodge Number 615. No stranger to the hoop shoot, her mm -hmm. sister participated, made it to state three times into the national finals in 2015, where she finished fourth. And her brother uh, made it to district four times. Yeah. Lucky, shoot, or lucky uh, Charm is her purple shoes and Vikings fan, so I think there's a trend there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes uh, the hoop shoot isn't always about how you shoot on your best days, but sometimes it's how you shoot right. on your worst days. And she was really sick um, all the week of the district competition, um, went to compete, hit 12 out of 25, mm -hmm. which was good enough that day. Two out of five in a shoot off, and that also is good enough, but since then she's been money. Awesome. Exciting. Well, that wraps up girls eight to nine. We'll take a little break and be back for the next boys 10 11. Awesome. All right. And we are back with the boys 10 11 division. Now, in 10 11, they're taking a step back, right? How much farther back are they from the eight nine? Four world? feet. What? Four feet? Four feet. Four it's feet. the regulation line mm -hmm. now. Uh, yep. Bit of a jump. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, significant. We, yeah, it's we've heard that it's very tough to make that jump mm -hmm. when you go from nine to ten. Yeah. Now, when we talk about the Chicago era in this division, uh, the magic number has been 23, at least 23. The past four contests, though, it's taken 24 or better three times in seven uh, tournaments. Uh, it's taken a perfect score to win, and two of those times, the perfect score wasn't good enough. There, uh, we needed shoot-offs to resolve. Talking about hoop shoot history, you have to go back 10 years to find a 22 that won and 20 years where a 21 worked, all right? If we look at this field in particular, it's loaded. We have two returning finalists. Duncan Walker was here last year when he finished 10th in boys 8-9 with a 20. Mm -hmm. And Camden Cadwell was here in 2022. You might remember him from uh, the Gritty O. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a conflict, one of my all-time <laughs> favorites. He finished fifth uh, in boys A9 that year, also with a 20. Mm -hmm. Now, the hottest shooter in this field is probably Clutch Cole Pittman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Clutch Cole, one of our better nicknames. Um, he shoot 92%. He was perfect at the lodge level. David Bowling is right mm -hmm. on his tail shooting 90. He was perfect at state. Uh, four of these guys shot 23 uh, at regionals, including Camden Cadwell. Next generation hoop shooters. hoop shooters, we have four more here. Dads and uncles, a combination. That makes 12 total, which is one third, 33% of this, this field so far, are next generation hoop shooters, which is pretty cool. Speaking of cool, we have some good nicknames. Uh, we've got Clutch Cole, which I already mentioned. We've got Triple B, yeah. B, 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 or B3, if you will. <laughs> But for my money, I like, that's a cup of coffee right there. I like Dunkers. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago runs on Dunkin'. Yeah. I kind of thought Dunkin' had to do with basketball Dunkin'. But... Well, Dunkin', yes. I mean, I think Dunk, Dunk and Dunkers has to do with Dunkin'. Mm, Dunkin', yeah. of course. All right, are we ready? We're ready. Let's, Let's do it. it. Let's do it. In first position from New England region number six, we have Cade Barkham. Kate is sponsored by Burlington, Vermont, lunch number 916. Uh, as a youth, I read all the Hardy Boy books. I had all 58 hardback Hardy Boy books and the detective's handbook. And when I was going over the notes and I saw that Cade's favorite book was The Twisted Claw, <laughs> one of the Hardy Boys, I was kicking myself for years ago, giving my collection to my son, Kevin, because I didn't have it in the house. Otherwise, I would have had it here and I would have shown it right here and I would have read a little bit for you, Cade. But anyway from one, uh, one Hardy Boy fans to another well met. 
Yeah, and, and Caden's got his sights set on winning, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, his dream vacation is to go to the Basketball Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. And if you do win um, at the national finals, you might have that opportunity. Oh, we'll yeah. see and if you get that trip. Right, and there's nothing twisted about that dream. No. <laughs> <laughs> In second position, we have Duncan Walker. Duncan is from West Region Number 7 and sponsored by Henderson, Green Valley, Nevada, Lodge Number 2802. His brother and sister competed in the, uh, the program. He was here last year, as we mentioned, and his uncles competed back in Oregon in the 80s. So cool. The yeah. 80s were a magical decade. Yeah. 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 And, and Duncan's, <laughs> unique, Duncan's unique talent is, uh, is uh, crossing people over in basketball, I believe. Um, oh. so, so also known as breaking ankles. Breaking ankles. Breaking ankles. Yes. Yes. I like that, you know, we're, we're talking a little bit about the 80s, and Duncan's lucky charm is his perm which I'm excited to see live in person. That's gonna be incredible. At the finals. Awesome. Yeah. All right, in third position, we have Bryden Bainter. Bryden is from North Central Region number three and sponsored by Macomb, Illinois, at Lodge number 1009. His dad made it to the state level uh, in Illinois. Um, Bryden almost didn't make it to the state level this year. He only shot 10 yeah. at the Lodge level. Yeah. But that was good enough. Buckled down, practiced, worked harder, got to 19 at district, 21 at state, and they hit tw um, 22 at regionals to advance. Great. Yep, Bryden's improved every, every step of the way. Yep. One thing I did want to point out was his nickname, Triple B, BBB. Mm -hmm. um, you can point to Lonzo Ball and the Bulls. He also is represented and known as the BBB Ooh. guy. BBB guy. Yeah. Chicago Connection. Yeah. yeah. Very yeah. cool. I'm going to just suggest you consider Triple B instead. <laughs> or B3. <laughs> B3. All right. In fourth position, we have David Bowling. David is from Central Region Number Nine and sponsored by Linden, Kentucky, Lodge Number Twenty Fifty Two. We mentioned David at the top. He was perfect at district with a twenty-five, shooting ninety percent in the tournament. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, David's been very good um, the entire way, and his unique talent is uh, speed Rubik's cubes. That's... I've never been able to do those, <laughs> but I would like to see that at the finals. Yeah, not only can he do a Rubik's cube, but he can do it fast. fast. Speed. Yeah, I don't speed understand speed. how people do that. Very impressive. All right, in fifth position, we have Beckett Jilka. Beckett is from West Central Region number eight and sponsored by Hoxie, Kansas, Lodge number 2415. It's the regional finals, Colorado Springs. Mm -hmm. Beckett's working on an eight, but as he toes the line for that second round, he has no, mar no margin for error, no wiggle room because somebody has already sat down with the 23. Mm -hmm. And what does he do? He rips off. <laughs> All 15 shots to tie that kid at 23, force a shoot off, which he wins, hitting four out of five to advance to Chicago. That's got to help your confidence. Yeah, and if you keep shooting like that, Beckett, maybe you'll get a chance to play for the Kansas Jayhawks one day, as that's his favorite team. Oh, very cool. All right, in sixth position, we have Ty Willard. Ty is from Southeast Central Region number 10 and sponsored by Bedford, Virginia, Lodge number 2844. So I thought it was over for him at regionals. Mm -hmm. He only hit 15 out of 25, which by far was his, his um, worst round. He, yeah. I mean, he shot 20 at state, 22 at districts. Uh, but that was good enough for a tie for first. Gets a second you know, lease on life at the free throw, at the, in the, um, the shoot off where he hits four out of five, holds up, he advances. Yep, and, and I was actually in attendance for this contest. Uh, mm -hmm. Tide is a great ball of energy and he was, uh, he was frustrated for, from his performance, but he clamped down at the end and he delivered in, in the shoot off four to five to, to make it to nationals. Awesome, yeah. let's see if he brings that same energy that he had in that shoot off to, yeah. to and, the contest. And you know, we can, when we set up each of these contests, I can talk you know, all day long about how to take a 23, 24, 25, whatever it is. Reality is all it takes is one more than the other guy. Mm -hmm. right. right, good day, bad day. Yep, yep absolutely. All right, in seventh position, we have Trey Thompson. Trey is from Southeast Region number 12 and sponsored by Coleman, Alabama, Lodge number 1609. Many, 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 many years ago, Trey's dad won the Lodge contest, uh, lost at district, and his uncle um, also uh, competed at district, um, won there before falling at the state competition. Yep, and Trey, is he's excited to compete against the best free throw shooters in, in the country, and he will have that opportunity in the 10 to 11 boys competition come Saturday. Awesome. Yep. All right, in eighth position, we have Tanner Calarco. Tanner is from region, the Northeast Central Region number five, and is sponsored by Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania, Lodge number 436. 
Tanner could be peaking at the right time. Best score of the tournament was at regionals with a 22. Yep, he's, he's coming on strong. Um, but that favorite book just caught my eye. Uh, <laughs> Captain Underpants and the Attack of the Talking Toilets, really the good. Turbo Toilet 2000. <laughs> I, you know what, I'm gonna have to check that one out. <laughs> That's very interesting. All right, in ninth position, we have Clutch Cole, Cole Pittman um, from the Great Lakes region number four, sponsored by New Albany, Indiana, Lodge number 270. Did his best work early in the tournament. He was perfect at Lodge, 24 out of 25 at District before dipping down to uh, 21 at State, and that needed a shoot off, yeah. five out of five yeah. to advance, and then 22 at Regional. Yeah. 92% uh, for the tournament. Yeah, very good. And his biggest fan, Sam Nolan, which I believe mm -hmm. is our 2022 final. Sam Nolan. Run yeah. From the same lot. Runner yeah. up. Yes. Uh, wonderful Gridio. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sam oh Nolan. yeah. Another one of my favorites. He's Sam was an great. awesome player. Yeah. If I'm yeah. remembering correctly, Sam was in that epic shootout. Yes, with yeah. uh, Croy, with Croy, Croy Kendall. Kendall. Yeah. Yeah. That was one to yeah. hear about. That yeah, we have Gridio cool. featuring both of those kids mm -hmm. from the 2022 yeah. season. Yeah. So check those out. Yep. All right. Free throw shooting, not even the most impressive thing, <laughs> if I'm going to be honest about Cole Pittman, Clutch Cole. Clutch Cole. A 5 by 5 Rubik cube? No, not a 3 by 5 Anybody, any old chump <laughs> can do a 3 by 3 He does a 5 by 5 That's really cool. Right? The second Rubik cube. 3 by 3 We have to, we have for to bikers. bring some to yeah. the finals and test this out. <laughs> All right. And Clutch about a 3 by 3 <laughs> In 10th position, we have Henry Siska. Henry is from Northwest Region Number 1 and sponsored by Ballard, Seattle, Washington, Lodge Number 827. And another uh, next-gen hoop shooter. His mm -hmm. dad, all the way across the country in Westfield, Massachusetts, participated when he was a 12-year-old. Awesome. And Henry can do magic tricks, so maybe we'll have a chance to check something out. Ooh, some well, let's magic. see if he can make his competition disappear. <laughs> All right. In 11th position, we have E.J. Aragon. EJ is from Southwest Region Number 11 and sponsored by Las Vegas, New Mexico, Lodge Number 408. Good. The third year could be the charm uh, for EJ. Mm -hmm. uh, first year, he lost a district by one, mm -hmm. made a little bit farther in year two to the regionals where he also lost by one. This year, he got past both of those hurdles, makes it to Chicago, despite <laughs> uh, going to regionals with a fractured thumb. So impressive. Yeah, talk about battling through the adversity, but yep. EJ's dream vacation, guys, Chicago. All right, we're glad to make that happen yeah. for you, EJ. <laughs> All right, last. Oh, look at his favorite team, by the way. 2001 Lakers. Didn't we already establish those just, guys were terrible? I think terrible. that was the bad team, right? Yeah. It was. Yeah. Oh, okay. 2000 Lakers. 2000. I don't recall. Oh, what are you doing, EJ? Really? All right, last but certainly not least, in 12th position, we have Camden Cadwell. Camden is from Northwest Central Region Number Two and sponsored by Brookings, South Dakota, Lodge Number Fourteen Ninety. Yeah, his um, younger brother competed um, also. Uh, as we mentioned, he was here in twenty twenty two. Subject of a gridio. This kid rescheduled his first communion to make it to the <laughs> national finals in twenty twenty two, where he, where he finished fifth. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and Camden is a good. A knower of the college mascots. Ooh. So, yeah. again, these talents. Yeah. I'm hoping to get a chance to quiz them. Yeah. I, I kind of yeah. was hoping. That. Maybe that would be a good like segment on the, the live uh, hoop shooting the breeze that you guys Western Kentucky oh, yeah. Hilltoppers. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, that is it. That concludes the 10 to 11 boys division. We will take a short break and be right back with 10 to 11 girls. All right. All right, we are back with the girls 10 to 11 division. Now, fans of this show will remember that the past few years I've talked a lot about, obsessed even, about the drought, which is the fact that no one has had a perfect score in this division since 2006 when Alex Scoop Shoot Hall of Famer Carly Samuelson did it. Last one to do it. Now, in the other five divisions, we had, we had three perfect scores last year. We had two, uh, two more in, in 2020. All five divisions have had perfect scores during the Chicago era. But in this division, we haven't had a perfect score <laughs> since 2006. And I was thinking maybe by focusing on the fact that we haven't had a perfect score in this division since 2006, I'm placing an undue burden on these girls. 
Um, they feel the responsibility of ending the drought because nobody has had a perfect score in this division since 2006. And it shouldn't matter because these are different girls. They're not the same girls. They're, they're not the ones who haven't had a perfect score in this division since 2006. These are different girls. The thing about 10, 11 girls, they eventually grow up to be 12. <laughs> these are different girls. They're not the same girls. So it shouldn't matter that no one has had a perfect score in this division since 2006. So I've decided that I'm not gonna talk about the fact that no one has had a perfect score in this division since 2006. Now, I'm not gonna not talk about it because it's not newsworthy, uh, it's not insightful analysis, because it is, objectively. It's, you know, it is. And that's why I'm here. I'm here to provide you with news, hoop shoot history, insightful analysis like the fact that nobody has had a perfect score in this division since 2006. But knowing that no one has had a perfect score in this division since 2006 is a crushing burden for these girls. They feel the responsibility, maybe, to try to end that drought and become the first person to have a perfect score in this division since 2006. Uh, so I'm not gonna talk about it. And by not talking about it, perhaps these girls can show up in Wind Trust Arena on Saturday, laser focused, determined, but carefree, because they don't know that no one has had a perfect score in this division since 2006. And then maybe, just maybe, one of them will hit shot after shot, swish, 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 fast forward 25 swishes, and become the first person to have a perfect score in this division since 2006, but only if we don't talk about it. Mm -hmm. So, McKenna and Nathan, yeah. mum's the word. No, I mean, no one could say that you're obsessed. <laughs> I think we're well past that. We won't talk about it. All right, starting off in first position, we have Lauren Kielman. Lauren is from North Central Region number three and is sponsored by Des Moines, Iowa, Lodge number 98. Uh, Lauren performs an accelerated math, two grades above grade level, and yep. she needed that extra math skills uh, at the state contest. Uh, some quick subtraction told her that she needed to hit all the rest of her shots uh, to win state, and she did it. She did just that. And she's also going to uh, attend her favorite sports team game, Chicago Cubs fan, Lauren. Oh, so she'll awesome. be going to a Chicago Cubs game, That's Lauren. Great. I liked you better when I knew you liked your mouth. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. In second position, we have Blake Ensfield. Blake is from Great Lakes Region Number Four and sponsored by South Haven, Michigan, Lodge Number Fifteen Oh Nine. Now, I think this is going to be a bit of a trend uh, moving forward, and we're going to make sure we have a medic on hand. <laughs> Blake broke her arm in September, wasn't able to practice much, and wasn't cleared for basketball until the day before the lodge competition, where she showed up, hitting 19 out of 25 to advance, shooting 83% for the tournament, arms healthy, we think. Yes, knock on wood. Yep, yep. Showing the grit to get to the national finals, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. And also, interesting dream vacation of going out to a, a ranch in Montana, yeah. the great state of Montana. Awesome, it's very cool. All right, in third position, we have Deeksha Reddy. Deeksha is from New England region number six and sponsored by Manchester, Connecticut, lodge number 1893. We've talked about this a little bit today. You just have to be better than the other competitors and Deeksha has been that so far. A 12 got her out of lodge, a 16 got her out of district, an 18 at state, a 17 at regional. All four of those scores were good enough on those days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Manchester, Connecticut is a hometown to Gino Oriema, the head coach at UConn Women's Basketball. Oh, very cool. I believe Hall of Famer, I would assume. He's won a, a lot of national titles, so. Wow. Storied basketball town. Yes, indeed. Very cool. See if the next great comes out of there. All right, so in fourth position, we have Ayla Seba. Ayla is from West Central Region Number 8 and sponsored by Kearney, Nebraska, Lodge Number 984. Her dad, Clay, won the state competition in Nebraska, boys 8-9, in 1991. He advances to the regionals in Golden, Colorado back then, where he earned second place in the Cato Beatum, went on to win a national title in Springfield, Massachusetts, named Ryan Shriver out of Kansas. 
And Ayla likes to wakeboard. And I will say that it's a really cool thing about the hoop shoot and the history is like a lot of that is captured right. on the website. You can go and see all these scores. So these, you know, these uh, the the parents and uncles and, and you know who, who can share that who made it to nationals can share their experience and look their uh, their history up and how they did. Mm -hmm. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, oh, yeah, that is great, and it's great to see all these uh, returnees, next gens uh, here. Um, but yeah, you need talent, wakeboard and surfing. Um, yeah, I definitely can't do that. No. So it's very cool, impressive. very impressive. Um, in fifth position, we have Emma McKenzie. Emma is from Southwest Region Number Eleven and is sponsored by Denton, Texas Lodge Number Twenty Four Forty Six. Nickname's Emac. 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 <laughs> I love that. And yeah. I love that her on her journey to the finals, she's learned how to stay calm and work through uncomfortable situations, yeah. which is really what the hoop shoot is all that about. That is really what it's about. You know, yeah. the, the silence of the competition, you know, it puts you in a unique spot that mm -hmm. you're never really in. No, mm -hmm. no. All right. Halfway through in sixth position, we have Allie Merilos. Allie is from West Region number seven and sponsored by Thousand Oaks, California, Lodge number 2477. Her teammates... Call her Chihuahua because <laughs> she's crazy and feisty on defense. That's great. <laughs> I hope she doesn't bite any of her opponents. <laughs> Let's hope not. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll have a medic. Though, yeah. Guess. Right. Right. <laughs> oh, awesome. All right. So in seventh position, we have Sophie Keller. Sophie is from Northeast Central Region Number 5 and is sponsored by Boston Spa, New York, Lodge Number 2619. Sophie's shooting 60% uh, for the tournament. But when she needed it at regionals, when she found herself in a tie for first, she, she was able to step that up to 80%, eight out of 10 to advance to yeah. Chicago. Yeah. And they say the greats elevate their game when they're most needed. So she definitely did that. Um, but how about the lucky charm? Yeah. A lucky lollipop wrapper? <laughs> How old is that? I don't, is that, yeah. does that go to every contest? I'm right, very right. curious to see mm -hmm. if that's an old one or if it's just a new it's a each fresh contest. Yeah, you know? pop each, yeah. We'll see. Awesome. All right, in eighth position, we have Layla Mason. Layla is from Central Region Number Nine and sponsored by Cleveland, Tennessee, Lodge Number 1944. She hit 19 out of 25 at regionals, five out of five in a shoot off to advance. Had to make a very tough decision uh, mm -hmm. for the state contest to skip um, her fifth grade team's tournament. Yeah. Instead, she went to the hoop shoot, and she's happy she did because she's going to be in Chicago with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Layla is a very good painter. Uh, mm -hmm. So we'll see. That's great. All right, in ninth position, we have Philomene Kirk. Philomene is from Southeast Region number 12 and is sponsored by Biloxi, Mississippi, Lodge number 606. Maybe another one where I want to make sure that the medic is not on break. Uh, <laughs> she rolled an ankle. Uh, before the state competition. Yeah. yeah. I was worried that was going to affect her shot, but she mm -hmm. was still able to advance. Mm -hmm. yep. And Philomene wants to visit Europe and go see Vatican City someday. Ooh, that's a unique one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. In 10th position, we have Michaela Newmiller. Michaela is from Northwest Central Region Number 2 and is sponsored by Jamestown, North Dakota, Lodge Number 995. Her sister was a national finalist. Mm -hmm. Macy was a national finalist last year. Yep. Uh, Michaela shot 23 out of 25 at regionals to get here. Michaela's one to watch here. Um, she, you know, she has the family connection as well, so she's been around it. She knows what, what to do and how to deliver it in the big, the big stage. So I, I've got my eye on Michaela for yeah, sure. Yeah, she's been there as a spectator, which I think sometimes you can kind of visualize what it would be like. Yeah, so you know what to expect floor. a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, 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 exactly. All right, in 11th position, we have Meredith Limbrunner. Meredith is from Northwest Region Number One and sponsored by Newport, Oregon, Lodge Number Twenty One Zero Five. Another competitor who's hoping hoping the third time will be the charm. Mm -hmm. This is her third year in the program. She made it to regionals in both the previous years. This year, she got the regionals and advanced. Yeah. Yep. And Meredith is a very good cook at age eleven. Ooh, very impressive stuff. Very cool stuff. All right, last but not least, in 12th position, we have Kaylin Strader. Kaylin is from Southeast Central Region number 10 and is sponsored by Reedsville, North Carolina, Lodge number 1723. And uh, this is her first year in the program, um, despite the fact that having a distant cousin who participated mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is a, just a call out to all you hoop shoot families watching. Share the program with friends and family, people you think might mm -hmm. uh, like to participate. Yeah. Um, this is, you know, it actually took a, um, a call to her mom from one of her mom's friends to mm -hmm. point out 
uh, that the hoop shoot, it was hoop shoot time and that, yeah. that Kaylin should participate. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and one now thing, she's a national finalist. Yeah. yeah. What a crazy ride that is. Yeah. Um, one thing I do want to point out from Kaylin is Kaylin's a big NC State fan. Two teams. They have two teams in the final four. <laughs> yeah. Women's and men's. So yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Wow. She must be so excited. Yes. For many reasons. Yes. That's awesome. All right. Well, that concludes our girls 10 to 11 division. We will be right back. Two with more to go, right? Yeah. Boys 12, 13. All right. We are back with the boys 12, 13 division. This division uh, has been remarkably competitive over the years, especially in the Chicago era where it has taken a 24 or better to win a title. In those seven championships in the Chicago era, five perfect scores. Five. And uh, several of those perfect scores required shootoffs to resolve. In 2020, we had four boys with perfect scores. So one didn't even finish on, on the podium. Um, talking hoop shoot history, you go back 14 years to find a winner with a 23 and 37 years to find a 22 uh, that worked. Now, if we talk about this field, I want to start with A, B, C. Easy as a one, two, three. You guys familiar with the Jackson Five? Yes. <laughs> Michael, Jermaine, Tito, the other two. <laughs> well, how about the Jackson 25? Mm -hmm. That's right, Jackson Ramirez is back. He won the 8-9 title in 2020 with a perfect score, and he rolls into this year's finals with perfect scores at Lodge and Regional. Jackson is the hottest shooter in the entire tournament, not just this division, hitting 97% of his regulation free throws so far. Three shots. He's only missed three shots. He's not the only sniper in this field, though. Mm -hmm. Five other boys are averaging 90% or better. That's six total or one half of this field. Seven of these guys hit 24 or better at regional, which is a magic number we've said. Yeah. And Jackson isn't the only one of them who is perfect in the penultimate step. This contest is going to be a hoop and annie. Exciting. Great delivery. <laughs> I'm really excited. Let's get started. In first position, we have Reed Borders. Reed is from Southeast Central Region number 10 and sponsored by Morganton, North Carolina, Lodge number 1852. 90, or 89% shooter in the tournament, um, 20 out of 25 at, at Lodge and gotten better every round. Districts, mm -hmm. 23 out of 25 and needed yeah. five out of five in a shoot off, 24 at regionals. Yep, and, and I got to see Reed firsthand and let me tell you, I don't think he hit the rim except that miss. I'm serious. He was switching every shot. So look out for Reed to uh, make a run here in 12, 13. Exciting. And the only reason why he's here is because his parents three years ago mm -hmm. heard about the heard about the hoop shoot on Facebook. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Win for uh, social media for the win. <laughs> yeah. The power <laughs> for, of social media. Yeah. <laughs> one one positive there. Yeah. All right. In second position, we have Owen Salisbury. Owen is from Northeast Central Region Number Five and sponsored by Calamus, New York Lodge Number Thirty One. Camillus, excuse me. He had a stake and ate it at state when he shot twenty four, his best round of the tournament. He's shooting eighty five point three percent. Yeah, and Owen's the sports stat chunky. I think he knows what he's going to need after your stats. You yeah. just delivered. Mm -hmm. All right, in third position we have Peyton Sorensen. Peyton is from West Central Region Number Eight and sponsored by Gillette, Wyoming, Lodge number 2825. Peyton was perfect at the district level. He had 24 at state, 23 at regionals, 93% shooter in the tournament. Nice. And Peyton's a very good hurdler. Oh. Jumped very high. Wow. He and also, he's hoping to hurdle the competition. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> he's jumping go. over yeah. everybody else. All right, in fourth position, we have Blake Zimmerman. Blake is from Northwest region number one and sponsored by Greater Spokane, Washington, Lodge number 22-8. Another lights out shooter, uh, 24 at district, 24 at regional, 94% shooter. It means 100 shots he's taken, regulation shots in the tournament, he's made 94 of them. Yeah, and, and you learned about the uh, hoop shoot through Maddox Hodges, who was a 2022 champion. Also a radio yeah, star. Yeah, yeah. Yep. also from Spokane. Yep. They're yep, exactly. turning out 20, champs. 25 in 2022. Mm. Wow. We'll see oh, and this is, you know, this is a funny thing about 
the contest, right? It starts at the local level, not always glamorous. And uh, the day he shot at the local level, the heat wasn't working in the gym and it was <laughs> freezing cold in there. Right? Winter in Washington. Wintrust yeah. Arena is going to be a little different. Yeah. yeah. The heat will be on. Yeah. Um, all right. In fifth position, we have Rylan Burr. Rylan is from North Central Region number three and sponsored by Sheboygan, Wisconsin, Lodge number 299. Now, I said the Jackson 25 wasn't our only perfect score uh -huh. at regional. Rylan owns the other one. He had a 25 at regional, 23 is a district and state. He's shooting 90% in the tournament. Yeah, and uh, I can't help but notice Rylan's height here. Uh, he's 6'4". 6'4". 6'4", 13. <laughs> I think our incredible. keynote speaker might have an eye on him. Yeah. yeah, for real. Also, is ambidextrous. Yeah. Very cool his talent. Love yeah. to see that. All right, in sixth position, Jackson Ramirez. Jackson from West Region number seven, sponsored by Walnut Creek, California, Lodge number 1811. And as we already mentioned, he was a 2020 champion in boys eight, nine. Uh, he missed two shots at district this year, one shot at state, and that is it, just those three. But Jackson's definitely leading the pack, and he even said once he made 131 free throws in a row, so I, I think yeah. he's uh, been practicing. He's one to watch, and I think it's really exciting because I know Jackson from the 2020 virtual conclusion, and I'm very excited to see him here in person in Chicago yeah, soon. That's great. All right. Okay, so in seventh position, we have Paul Turner Arias. Paul is from Central Region number nine, and he is sponsored by Highland, Arkansas, Lodge number 2539. 21's at state and regional to get here. Yeah. I love how blunt Paul is about his dream vacation. Staying home. <laughs> Staying home. Yeah. Can't do that this weekend, Paul. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you're going to be in Chicago. To Chicago. <laughs> awesome. In eighth position, we have Patrick Wingate. Patrick is from New England, region number six, sponsored by West Warwick, Rhode Island, lodge number 1697. Uh, he was a finalist, a national finalist in 2022, boys 10 11. I uh, finished 10th with 18 out of 25. And then I believe last year he uh, ended his hoop shoot mm -hmm. season early, uh, made the opposite decision of uh, one of the girls we talked about mm -hmm. uh, earlier. He decided to. Um, forgo the hoop shoot in favor of playing with uh, in a tournament with his team. Yeah, so, uh, so he's yeah. really only ever lost at the national final. That's right. So wow. something to keep an eye on. It's exciting. All right, in ninth position, we have Mason Malone. Mason is from Great Lakes region number four and sponsored by Jackson, Ohio, Lodge number 466. He shot 24 at district and 24 at regional. In his four rounds, he's had to go to uh, extra free throws three times, and all three times he was a perfect five out of five to end it early. Yeah. Mason shooting 93%. Yeah, he is battle tested, um, and mm -hmm. he will not be afraid if it comes down to a shoot off. No, for sure. no. That, that kind of like perfect in the shoot off mentality is so important to have at yeah. this level. Yeah, and it's in his blood too. His dad was uh, an Ohio State hoop shoot champion when he was younger. Wow. So cool. All right. Well, we'll see you on the court. In 10th position, we have Trip Johnson. Trip is from Northwest Central Region number two and sponsored by Hot Springs, South Dakota, Lodge number 1751. And he hit 24 regional. Mm -hmm. so yeah, it's going to be yeah. in that mix. This, yeah. it, again, this competition in 12 13 is going to be really tight, and Trip's got a shot for sure. Yeah. But I love, I love Trip's nickname here. It's a, it's a bear. Bear, bear yeah. Johnson. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. All right, in 11th position, we have Gio Noriega. Gio is from Southeast Region number 12 and sponsored by Greenville, South Carolina, Lodge number 858. And his line you know, is indicative of many of these hoop shooters. Mm -hmm. uh, 12 at Lodge, good enough. 19 at District, good enough. 23 at State, certainly good enough. 23 at Regional, well, you're gonna need to shoot off there. He, mm -hmm. he had five out of five to advance. Yeah, and, and he knows too. He said, I still have a long way to go. So yeah. he's still mm -hmm. practicing. Yeah. Awesome. All right. And last but not least, in this division, we have Aiden Birch. Aiden is from Southwest, region number 11, sponsored by Midwest City, Oklahoma, lodge number 1890. His uncle is a former hoop mm -hmm. shooter. Uh, Aiden uh, hit 22 out of 25 at state, went to uh, extra free throws where he shot nine out of 10 to advance. Yeah, and another Lakers fan here. And not oh, a Lakers wow. specific Lakers. year or just all of them? No, no, no year on this. All, all the Lakers. All Lakers. Yeah, yeah. I can yeah. appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that concludes boys 12-13. We'll be right back with our final division, girls 12-13. All right. We are back with the last division, girls 12-13. In the Chicago area, it's taken a 23 or better to win this division. 
Uh, we had perfect scores last year and in 2016. And that latter perfect score required a three round shoot off to resolve, during which Reagan Ponzer of Kansas also was perfect. In fact, she didn't miss a shot all day. The warm ups, her practice shots, and 40 for score, she made them all in one of the most amazing single day performances in hoop shoot history. You have to go back 14 years since a 22 was good enough in this division and 37 years since a 21 worked. If we talk about this field, three former finalists, four of the 12 shot 23 or better at regionals. So they've hit that magic uh, mark um, recently. And one, one was perfect at regionals, 25. Five went to extra free throws at some point on the road to Chicago. So they're not gonna balk under the pressure of a shoot off. They've been there before and they've prevailed. And we have some next gen hoop shooters in this field as well. Uh, a mom who was a state champ and a dad who was a national finalist. Living, in, living up to that, that name, that's for sure. Yeah. All right, this is exciting. Let's get started. In first position, Olivia Rogers from New England, region number six, sponsored by Brattleboro, Vermont, lodge number 1499. She was here in 2022, mm -hmm. but she tied for fourth in girls 10-11 uh, with 19 out of 25, and she tied mm -hmm. Ellison Graham, who yeah. is the 2020 champ in girls 8-9. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Olivia, uh, she can walk on her hands. Oh, that's Can she shoot with her feet, though? <laughs> I don't know, but that would be impressive. That would be soccer. <laughs> that would be. All right. In second position, we have another Olivia, Olivia Brogdon uh, from West Central Region Number Eight, and sponsored by Sheridan, Wyoming Lodge Number Five Twenty. Now she was also here last year, although not as a competitor. Her right. sister Maggie uh, was a national runner-up uh, mm -hmm. last year in girls twelve thirteen, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. And, okay. Yeah, and Olivia can can write in calligraphy. Ooh, very cool. So, well, yeah. she wrote a twenty-four in calligraphy <laughs> at regionals <laughs> to get her. Let's She's definitely she got a shot, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, let's see if she can keep that score up. All right, in third position, we have Malia Delasco. Malia is from Great Lakes, region number four, and sponsored by Muskegon, Michigan, lodge number 274. Another one of those tough Great Lakes yeah. regional shooters. Oh, yeah. uh, last year, she made it to regionals, and she was lost, uh, she lost, and she was determined to go farther this year, so she worked harder, and uh, at regionals, mm -hmm. There's a girl sitting down with a 24. Now she had hit 10 out of 10, but to go farther, she needed to hit her last 15. And that's what she did. Yeah. Perfect score at regionals to roll into Chicago. Yeah, and her favorite part about the hoop shoot is uh, collecting those trophies. So I think she's got a shot to get, a, get another one in there. Yeah. Awesome, all Maybe right. more than one. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. In fourth position, we have Delcy Lively. Delcy is from Central Region Number Nine and sponsored by Harrison, Arkansas Lodge Number Twenty Three Eleven. Now, if Delcy wanted to know what it was like to be a state hoop shoe champion, all mm -hmm. she had to do was ask her mom. <laughs> and that's her biggest fan, her mom. You know, she at regionals twenty two out of twenty five after hitting twenty three at state. Went to extra free throws at regionals ten out of ten, perfect from the line to advance. Mm -hmm. Yep, and she's a, a current Lakers fan, as she says. Austin Reeves is her favorite player. So yeah, he's just mostly on the Lakers. Oh, His teams from 2000 2001 were garbage. <laughs> it's all about the current 2024. LA Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, in fifth position, we have Riley Hodkinson. Riley is from Northeast Central Region Number Five, and is sponsored by Oneida, New York Lodge Number Seven Sixty Seven. She was here last year. Mm -hmm. She finished seventh in girls ten eleven with an eighteen out of twenty five. Um, her father has a little experience with yeah. losing at the Nationals yeah. as well. He was here in 1983. Well, not here, but he was in Indianapolis in mm -hmm. 1983. That's really cool. Yep. Yeah. They got, they got a talented hoop shoot family. That's yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. Awesome. I remember him coming in with his jacket that he wore oh, right. in Indianapolis yeah. last year. So yeah. I wonder if he'll... Still fits. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. In sixth position, we have Ava Kumachek. Um, Ava is from North Central Region Number Three and sponsored by Green Bay, Wisconsin Lodge Number Two Fifty Nine. First year in the program, uh, toughest round for her was districts, where she shot yeah, twenty-three, her best mm -hmm. score, and then needed extra free throws, twelve out of fifteen, to advance to state. 
Yeah, and I just noted down her consistency as well. I mean, above 20 each round, very consistent, and, and it's going to be locked in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she seems like she has the endurance um, to go because her unique talent is running half marathons, half marathons at 13 years old. That, that is so cool. Yeah, that's very impressive. <laughs> yeah. All right, in seventh position, we have Camaria Burst. Camaria is from Southeast Region Number 12 and sponsored by Dalton, Georgia, Lodge Number 1267. Uh, she's, Camaria says that the journey was so scary when she first started, and then it got less scary, but it's always going to be a nerves thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Camaria's unique talent is uh, shopping, I believe, so uh, we might have oh. that opportunity in Chicago. There's some very famous shopping. Indeed uh, there is, yeah. <laughs> so uh, watch out, Mom. Awesome. All right, in eighth position, Alexis Wong. Alexis is from Southwest Region Number 11 and sponsored by Plano, Texas, Lodge number 2485. And she's our third returning finalist. Uh, she's participated in the Hoot Shoot all six years she was eligible. Mm -hmm. In 2020, she finished sixth in Girls 8-9 with a 21 out of 25. And she says that she has learned to embrace loss, to fight the silence, nervousness, and the pressure when she gets up to the free throw line. I love that saying, yeah. fight the silence. You know, she, she knows, she's aware of it, and she, mm -hmm. she battles through that, but that's, that's amazing to hear. And she can also do 25 back handsprings in a row. And maybe we'll see that if she wins yeah. on Saturday. Down the court. Right yeah. down yeah. the court. There you go. <laughs> in ninth position, we have Gabriela Gonzalez. Gabriela is from West Region Number 7 and sponsored by Green Valley, Arizona, Lodge Number 2592. Survived a shoot-off at Regionals 3 out of 5 to advance after hitting 19 in regulation. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Dream Vacation, Rome. Oh, that's so cool. Awesome. In 10th position, we have Daraji Harris. Daraji is from Southeast Central Region Number 10 and sponsored by Raleigh, North Carolina, Lodge Number 735. Now, this is her second year in the program, and last year she and her sister both uh, advanced mm -hmm. to districts and lost by one. And they were determined this year to write a different story. Mm -hmm. And they worked harder and made a difference because she kept winning, and now she's earned a plane ticket for her first ever flight. There we go. Very cool. She's excited and honored to have made it this far. Awesome. I really, I really love her favorite part of the hoop shoot. Um, mm -hmm. Being in a truly supportive environment, I think that that's really cool to hear. Um, all the volunteers out there do great work, mm -hmm. so I think that they collectively are a huge part of that supportive environment. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree. In the 11th position, we have Presley Petrie. Presley is from Northwest Region Number 1 and sponsored by Coquille Valley, Oregon, Lodge Number 1935. Now, shooting in the 11th position, she's going to have to stay on those shooters before her like a hound dog. Oh, yeah. Yep. I know what? <laughs> I got it. Okay. Good, good use of Presley. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Now, she almost didn't participate this year. She wasn't planning on it. Showed up at the local contest in jeans and a sweatshirt, decided <laughs> to, to shoot anyway, and won with an 18. Amazing. Here she is. Amazing. At the national finals. Yeah. That's battling through some adversity, so watch out for Presley. Uh, she's also a Golden State Warriors fan. Oh, another favorite, favorite team. Yep. Yeah. In last position, 12th position, Presley Newman. Presley is from Northwest Central Region Number 2, sponsored by Missoula, Hellgate, Montana, Lodge Number 383. And her dad is a basketball coach, so her nickname is Press. Press. And another Chicago Cubs fan. Oh, I've yet right. to see a white I don't understand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> well, she'll get to see the Cubs live in action this week, which is very exciting. Okay, that's it. That wraps up all of our divisions. That's all yep. 72 finalists. We know what order they're going to shoot in, so all that's left to, to resolve is those six national titles. Yeah, I mean, congratulations to everyone on this yep. great accomplishment. I mean, it's really hard to get here. Yeah, yeah. We, we cannot wait to see you on the court this Saturday. All right, anything else? I think that's nope. it. How can people follow along on Saturday? Yeah, you can follow along right here on our YouTube channel on those live streams. Yep. Go to elks.org slash hoopshoot to find links to the live streams. Watch the show. We're going to have two. We're going to have the boys contest and the girls contest. Mm -hmm. We have several different broadcast teams working those uh, streams. So if you can't be with us in Chicago, you can still watch from home. Mm -hmm. And we hope you will. Awesome. Yep. Until next time. Best. Thanks, everybody. Best wishes. Best wishes. Keep it mad.